And only Local 10 News starts right now. Campaigns are contest of competing visions. The country chooses one or the other. We accept the choice the country made. That was President Biden addressing the nation just moments ago after former President Trump's election victory. It comes as we learn more about President Trump's transition team. And we're also hearing about potential cabinet picks and who might be fired right away. Local 10's Leanne Morhone is joining us live. She's in Palm Beach near Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort. All right, tell us what you're hearing. So among those spotted here at Mar-a-Lago, Elon Musk and RFK Jr. These are some of the highest profile people that have been talked about as far as a possible part of the new Donald Trump administration. Of course, we've also heard about other possible actions that he could take on day one. It's still sinking in. Just a few yards from Mar-a-Lago, Tom Dance is in awe of Donald Trump's landslide political comeback. Every, so much hard work. His organization, Mighty American Strike Force. It's a grassroots uh, get out the vote group. Was on the ground in swing states like Pennsylvania, working to convince voters to pick Trump. The issues that swayed them the most? Inflation and the economy. Tom is here with a friend, Jorgen Boasin, a Trump fan all the way from Greenland. I admire Trump's for what his policy is for the world. Meanwhile, work is already underway to shape the next Trump administration. These people have been incredible. Sources tell ABC News that Trump plans to fire FBI Director Chris Wray quickly, as well as prosecutors who worked on his criminal cases. Trump's also said he would fire special counsel Jack Smith, though sources tell ABC News Smith is in active talks with the DOJ about ending both cases. Sources also say Trump's transition team is preparing pardons for convicted January 6 rioters. Trump's team is just beginning to discuss potential cabinet picks and White House jobs. A star is born, Eli. Trump has talked about Elon Musk, who spent over $100 million to help him win, running a new Department of Government Efficiency, pledging to slash $2 trillion from the federal budget. Your money is being wasted. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a known vaccine skeptic, has discussed overseeing public health agencies. I'm going to let him go wild on health. I think American people are going to be really excited at who comes on the scene. Here, ABC News sources are saying that he's been spotted back here at Mar-a-Lago today. Yesterday, we're told he was spotted with a team that included former Representative Tulsi Gabbard, Tucker Carlson, Amaryllis Fox Kennedy, which is his daughter-in-law and former campaign manager, health entrepreneur Callie Means, and investor Tom Barrick. For now, reporting live here in Palm Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.